Hey guys, this is Alpine Gremlin again with some more World of Tanks. Today, I'm going to be doing kind of a more advanced medium tank tutorial slash just straight out gameplay showcasing the T-62A again. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I had a really good result out of the game you're going to see. And not only that, it illustrates a lot of the more advanced things that you should be thinking about when playing a medium tank of any kind. And I feel like it's a good follow-up to the tutorial I did, a f you know, almost a year ago already, um, about uh, medium tanks back before, this was back before 8.0, update 8.0 came out, so, and there were things back then that I didn't really think about in a medium tank that I, that are, that are important to playing it now. So, this is kind of going to be like a more advanced tutorial, and I'm going to go through a little bit a slower pace and explain some of the things that I'll be thinking about throughout the course of this battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have fun and hopefully you learn something. Okay, so since we've got some time, let's go over some of the basic roles of a medium tank. Since we are since we are doing another well, kind of more advanced medium tank tutorial in addition to showing this game. So Medium tanks obviously bridge the gap between heavies and light tanks. So this means that they don't shine, really, in terms of their armament, their armor, their speed, whatever. Though there are some exceptions, such as the Leopard 1, which is very fast, but has absolutely no armor. But in general, medium tanks have a good amount of variation. So, as a medium tanker, you're going to be the primary support tank. Now... Let's just stop. Let's stop the battle here for a second. Let's bring up the map. This is steps. So, in general, very open. But as a medium tank, because you're not going to be able to brawl with heavies because you don't have the you don't you have neither the HP pull nor really the gun, even in a tier 10 medium, you don't have the HP and armor to be exchanging shots with other tier 10 heavies. So, you're going to want to avoid, on steps for example, you want to avoid areas that, in, that restrict your medium tank's movement. So the first step I take is going to a more open area, such as securing the cap circle, which has a lot more space for me to maneuver and take cover if necessary. If I went here, it's more of a corridor where I don't have any room to maneuver and I'll be in front of all these guns. So the first step to being successful is to go where you have room to maneuver. It's also important to look at who's going where. So, we're taking a look at our team. Coming to assist me, I've got an Object 263, a Jagdpanzer 100 So, we're kind of light on support, so I'm going to want to be careful about, ex about overextending myself. You can see me looking back there to see who's coming. I've only got two, T I've got two Tier 10 TDs and possibly my artillery support. That's it. So, I want to be very careful about extending myself. You can see this you can see the 263 is already telling me 62A do not die. Don't suicide, don't rush in there. So I'm going to park up on this hill because I want to know what's going to be what I'm going to be facing. So we're going to wait a little bit and see who comes around and to see if there's anything that I could possibly do damage to to make my TD's job a little bit easier because remember, you're chiefly a support tank. So the 263 is going out there because he, he knows that I haven't spotted anything. So the 263, actually not bad for me either because I'm basically going to be providing sniper support at this time. If you remember from, if you remember from my, from my uh, medium tank tutorial I did a while ago, that's one of the things a medium can do is snipe at a, a semi-decent distance. So I'm going to move up because he hasn't spotted anything. Okay, so here's first contact. Now, an important part of medium tanking is prioritizing your target. So, there's a Patton. Patton's a tier 10 medium tank. As of right now, he's the closest thing to my vehicle type. Even though we're medium tanks, and we, even though we're from different nations and we differ in our play styles, the Patton is still another medium tank, so he's the best equipped to counter me right now. Supporting him are the mouse a Lerva, and a T-34. But, I want to take out the Patton first, because he is the... He is what can counter me the most effectively at the current time. You can also see... 
as I'm putting shots into his side, that he is attacking my Object 263. The Object 263 and the Jagdpanzer 100 are the only support I have on this flank, so I really want to make sure that I keep them alive. The Patton is the the Patton. If he gets alongside that 263, there's not much he can do. The Mouse, the Love, and the T34 don't even have shots on the 263 yet, so. If the Patton kills the 263, he's not only a threat to me and can mess my operations up the most, but I'll be down a tank and I'll have to deal with the other three without his support. So the Patton is ignoring me, so with my gun I have more than enough pen to get through his armor because he's just a medium tank. So I'm going to keep focused on him to, to keep him off my 263. Now the T62A excels at damage per minute. The gun compared to other tier 10 mediums doesn't do a lot of damage but it's still effective. So the Patton's down. Okay, it's time to switch targets. The Mouse is a tier 10 heavy tank. He's only supported from what we can see by the T-34 and the Leva, both of which are not nearly as, pri are as deadly as the Mouse is. If not, because even though the Mouse doesn't have the best gun, it can still get through me, it can get through the 263. He's also got that big HP pool, and he's got a lot of armor. I have a perfect side shot on him right now, and he's focused on the 263. So, what better time than to hit weak points, which is another important thing that mediums need to excel at. You get onto an enemy's flank, and you hit where they're and you hit them where they're vulnerable. So we're just gonna keep putting shots into this mouse. The mouse is engaging me, but he isn't doing it. He's not angling himself. He's just showing me that side. So always take advantage of an opponent's mistakes, especially when they're not thinking clearly. Now the mouse has to contend with that 263. They're going at it. I'm here providing an additional gun to be pounding into his side. The mouse's health is steadily decreasing. We've got him down to... He, we've got him past half his health. He's only got... And our Jagdpanzer 100 takes him out. Next target is the T-34. Now, note that now there's an IS-7. There's an IS-3 showing up to support him as well. The 263 d pounds the T-34 and I finish him off. Next target, the IS-7. Remember, all these heavy tanks are showing me their sides, so... I'm getting all these flank shots, so of course I'm going to take them. The T-62A is a damage per minute monster, and because of its high rate of fire, the way I've got my crew set up and the way I've got my equipment mounted, my reload is slightly over 5 seconds, but this blows most other tanks out of the water at this tier anyway. Okay, so now it's time to move on. We've got a couple more tier 8 heavies. Now it's important to look at the map at all times and look at the team list. So let's stop. Let's let's focus on the map. You can see the enemy team list. They have a Jagdpanzer 100 who's located here. There's a T124 who is unaccounted for. There's an IS8 that's account that's unaccounted for. The E50 is there. He's a medium tank. He's in the wrong place brawling with heavies. There's their artillery which is also unaccounted for. The IS-3 is in the IS-3 is west. The Lova is pretty much right in front of me. The Tiger II we know has been spotted around this area. The T-28 is unaccounted for, but we probably can assume that he's somewhere along this rock area. There's the IS-8. He's moving up. He's been spotted. The Tiger II is right where we were. Was right where we left him. There's the E4. So we want to get out of the way quickly. Now we're going to engage this Lova, but we want to stop and pay attention to what's around us. T28 is the T28 is as expected around the rock area. He's but he's for the most part focused on our heavies and tank destroyers that are coming from the west corridor. So. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take out these two tier 8 heavies first. The E4, we have the E4 we don't have to worry about right now. We're covered from him by this by the natural boundaries of the map. But the Lova and Tiger 2 have guns that can still penetrate my armor and therefore are 
major threats to me. So what we're doing in a medium tank is we're trying to minimize the amount of enemies that are shooting at us at a time. This is a good thing to practice with all tanks, but mediums especially because you don't have the HP again or the armor to be taking multiple hits. So we want to see, we want to make it so that we only really have to fight one opponent at a time. The 263 is focused on the Leuve, who is also focused on him. So we'll take out this Tiger 2 real quick, and then we'll focus on the Leuve, and then we'll move on to other targets. So we're going to put some shots into the Tiger 2's side. He tracks me, but I'm not going to waste my repair kit on that, because I'm not indirectly in harm's way of him. So we're going to finish him off. I'm going to peek out. I can afford to take a hit. I bounce off of him. But that's okay, because he just tracked us again. Lower Glacier shot, he's done. The Lova has just dispatched the 263, but now we can but now it's one on one again, and we have a very high chance of winning this just because of the tier difference. I have a lot of I have the advantage of DPM on my side. So another part about playing a medium tank, as we'll see here, is minimizing the amount of space that enemies have to shoot at you. The, two, the T-62A's turret is excellent. It's very well-rounded, and it's relatively thick. The Lova's turret isn't so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep our lower hull covered. The way, that we're, the way that we have ourselves in position relative to the Lova here is going to allow us to hit that weak turret of his without him being able to really hit anything on us. So you can see there's a bounce, and I penetrate through his turret. But just in case he gets brave and decides to rush over the hill, we're going to take cover. Going to shoot again, get out of his gun range. And again, he's not even loaded yet, most likely. He just shot us. Now, he did penetrate us, but it only did 302 damage, and that's the first damaging hit we've taken of the game. So we've still got enough HP to throw around at this point. Medium tanks are very good in late game. So playing a medium tank is all about dishing out damage while at the same time conserving your own HP because medium tanks can rack up a lot of kills and damage and really help out their team in the late game when a lot of people are beaten up. So we've managed to conserve our health for most of this match. We've done over, we've done about, we've almost done 6,000 damage in this match. We've got four kills. So let's keep going. We've got the HP to spare so we can be a little bit more bold here but we don't want to be too bold. All right, priority target switch. We were going to go after that E4, but Artie is always at the top of the list because Artie can splash me from a while, from a ways off. So we want to get at least one damaging hit on this Geschutzwagen Tiger before he gets away because you'll see he, he scatters pretty fast. So he knows that he's been spotted. He runs away, but he will get blasted. All right. Now, the M103 on our team just took out the artillery, but we've run into a T1E, a T110E4. High tier, tier, tier 10 tank destroyer. He's at full HP. The last thing we want to do is we want is have a slugfest with this guy. So, what we're going to do, luckily, he tracked me. He just tracked me with that shot. It wouldn't have killed me, but it would have done at least around 800 damage. But remember, because we've saved our HP for until late game and we've we haven't put ourselves in unnecessary danger we can afford to take maybe one or two hits from this guy assuming he he even hits us but at the same time he's got a very long reload so we can get in several shots before he's even reloaded so we're going to hit that lower plate of his now we're going to duck in cover because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage if I do I do I can uh, I can live with that but I don't want to take any more than I absolutely have to. And if I can avoid taking damage, then even better. That shot bounced. But again, he fired again. He didn't even engage me. So we're just going to DPM him to death. Again, my gun doesn't do it nearly as much damage as his does. But I have the DPM advantage. Jagdpanzeri 100 finishes him off for the kill. So, do you guys remember where that IS-8 was? If you remember, he was heading up this this path right here. And he just took out our artillery not too long ago, if you were paying attention to the battle feed. So we can assume, because the FCM 50 ton is on cap, who's pressuring him, we can generally assume that he's going to be heading to the cap. 
but just in case we want to make a quick run into our base to make sure he's not still hanging around there because you never know especially in public games what people are going to do now remember the entire game we were supporting our allies we were covering the flank of our Jagdpanzer E100 making sure that he was safe from enemies trying to get cheeky with him and we also got a lot of damaging hits right now we're at 7.4k damage which is a very good result and this game actually you'll see uh, is gonna net me the ace tanker badge for the T62A the T62A though has become one of my favorite mediums because it can do stuff like this now remember every medium plays differently this is the, the Soviet medium here the T62A excels in close to medium range combat okay there's the IS-8 so we're going to use our advantage, because he's a tier 9 heavy, doesn't have that much armor. We've got more than enough pen to get through him. So basically, all it is now is a matter of getting there and finishing him off. I'll admit, I, I was just kind of, at this point, I was really just intent on getting as much damage in as possible on this guy. I, w I really wanted the kill. And if I had killed one more enemy, it would have gotten me a top gun. But you know what? I will take 8k damage any day. Any day. So there he is. We're going to put a shot into him. Really can shoot anywhere just because he doesn't have that much armor. And I'm more than willing to take hits to my HP pool at this point because there's no way he can win this at this point. So that's it. He's done. Five kills, 8k damage, supported our allies, and pushed the flank hard. So that is how to play the medium tank. And this is a, I, think, I think it was about time I did a follow-up. To, the, my, to my previous medium tank tutorial. I really hope this explained more of what it means to play a medium tank to you guys. I went through the, I, I took the extra time to pause each segment of the video to show you guys exactly what I was thinking and what my rationale was. I know sometimes I'm, I feel kind of rushed when I'm explaining things, especially in the last tutorial. But here I think I felt like I explained the principles of playing a medium tank better and what should be going through your mind whilst playing the medium. Anyway guys, that's all I have for now. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay.